Good evening, gentlemen. Today we have to discuss our military power, reveal our most deadliest weapons and come to conclusion in form of an international peace treaty. I will begin the briefing. So, Ohio-class submarines. They can carry up to 10 nuclear missiles, can stay out in the sea and average of 77 days. It's hard to detect. I haven't seen a woman for three months already. Can be easily resupplied at sea and can be converted to carry less powerful Tomahawk missiles, allowing for extra room to deploy SEALs. Questions? Like actual SEALs? You have trained SEALs for your military? No, it is the name of our speak ups forces. <laughs> Russia's next. <sighs> our international ballistic missile R 36, also known as SS 18 Saturn. Its average operational range is 13,100 km. Accuracy error is possible from 220 to 1,300. It is unknown how powerful it is. Nice, nice. You guys have to check out what I have. It's the DF-41 ICBM. It's the best in our arsenal. It can carry 10 multiple independently registrable re-energy vehicles. They can reach the US at ease. We also built at least 100 of them in North Central Province. Do you know why we need so much of these rockets? Are we preparing for a war? I'd prefer to put some of these to Mao Zedong's Earth. Our most powerful weapon is simple. It's a Su-30 MKI fighter. It's a 4.5 plus gen fighter which is built according to Indian specifications. We have 272 aircraft and it makes us the largest Su-30 operator in the world. One Su-30 MKI can do the job of two MiG-29 and two Jaguars combined. That's kinda weak, not gonna lie. We don't have the largest economy in the world to spend it on military, sorry. Alright, it's time to form a peace treaty. How? We'll just sign a document that says that we won't hurt each other and countries that has a military weaker than ours. Trust me, it will work, 100%. And what if, just for example, I invaded a weaker, military-wise country? Me, China and India will be forced to step in against you. Okay, sounds great. Hopefully it will finally bring peace on this planet. It won't. Why are you signing the docs then? Because I need to build communism and not signing this piece of paper will create troubles for me and communism. Meeting ended. Thanks for everyone.